So the state of school improvement is very complex right now. One of the major challenges that we face as educators is just teaching the whole child, being able to address all of the personal issues that the students are facing before we can actually get the students engaged in learning. One of the major challenges that we've faced at Decatur Township is students are very transient and they come and go. One of the biggest challenges we face is that we have continual teacher turnover. That's hurting students, that's hurting them continuing to make that progress. Too often we're in silos and the work can be really lonely. When we're isolated we have pockets of success, but those pockets uh, are not able to expand and to impact others. Thanks to supports from the E3 project, our challenges are becoming our bright spots. Thanks to the support from the E3 project, our challenges, our challenges are now becoming our bright spots. Empowering Educators to Excel is a partnership sponsored through the United States Department of Education. We work with 47 schools across five districts in four states. The purpose is to network a group of schools in small and rural areas so that they can function and benefit like a larger school system can by working with one another. Insight came up with the idea for E3 by really examining what the needs were of schools and districts across this country. And what we are hearing over and over again is that teachers and leaders wanted to see more success stories. Decatur Township is a mix of urban and suburban. It's located in southwest Indianapolis. We're located about 45 minutes from Philadelphia in northern Delaware. We're actually semi-urban. Marlboro County School District is a small rural community. It's an hour and a half away from Myrtle Beach. Our district is a rural district north of the Dallas Metroplex area. Marion County School District is a small district that is located in a rural community. For the first time, it's joining together districts that are so geographically dispersed that in normal circumstances, we just never have the opportunity to collaborate together. What the E3 grant does to address school improvement challenges is to focus on the three key levers that research has shown to be the most impactful on student achievement. The school improvement levers through E3 have really allowed us to uh, find that problem of instructional practice and really drill down to where we need to help our teachers and in turn there will help our students. The school levers have really helped us in Marlboro County to increase student growth. The best thing about E3 from my experience is the professional development and the coaching aspect that we're getting across the board administrators are getting coaching, teachers are getting coaching, and then in turn that's impacting our student achievement. And also changing the mindset that it should be um, administrator driven. Our step meetings are driven by the teachers and that is a shift for us. It has empowered our staff members um, and I think it has generated a new energy among uh, many of our instructional teams and our teachers. E3 has personally provided me a personal network of go-to people that are facing similar challenges that we are. We are seeing a lot of promise in the, the changes that we're making, that there are going to be improvements in our system that will ultimately impact student achievement pretty directly. I think it's critical that educational leaders are part of a, a network community uh, in the fact that it allows us to uh, have a sounding board and to hear of the experiences and practices of other school districts. Personally, E3 has provided me a network of education professionals who share the same needs and challenges as I do. The collaboration that it provides beyond uh, the boundaries of a school corporation or within a building, you're able to reach out to uh, other school communities throughout the country uh, and be able to get different perspectives. The National Education Leaders Workshop is an annual convening of the Networked Improvement Community with Insights E3 grant. However, one of the real benefits to this annual convening is the opportunity to expand this network into other districts who want to utilize the same tools and supports and professional development as in the E3 grant. The thing I appreciate most about being here at NELW is the ability to network with colleagues from across the country, as well as to get professional development tailored to what I need. They listen to our needs and then they provide professional development for us based upon that. In education, we sometimes just close the door and think it's only our problem and we think other people have it better or easier. 
And when you come together and you find out we're all facing the same challenges across our nation. We're not in this alone. We're working together as a group so that we all can improve student achievement across the states, not just South Carolina, but all states.